You bearded bastard. You did it again. You made another incredible product. I just got this in the mail. George, this is our Rum Runner Black. Comes out June 1st. Enjoy from Bearded Bastard. And of course, what did they send me? The sticker, which I always put on my Bic lighters. And the Bearded Bastard shop rag. Stay bearded, stay bastard. I like this thing. Put it through my belt loop when I'm um, riding the cycle, uh, wiping, you know, sweat off my head or maybe cleaning off the windshield or something if it rains. But I like this little feature. This is kind of a cool thing. It's a shop rag. It's actually a real shop rag. It's not a fake shop rag. It is a real shop rag, which means it'll get softer, softer and more absorbent as, as you wash it. 4X, baby. Let's try this out. Some people say, well, you don't have a beard. What the hell is this? All right, this needs to be soft too. Actually, this needs it more than a regular beard, and I'll tell you why. Because this can poke someone's face. I mean, for instance, when you go like, like if I had that big old beard and you touch it, it's soft. You go, you touch this, it's like a damn porcupine. All right, so let's try this. A little too much there, but I don't care. Oh damn, oh my god, this smells exotic as heck. Oh. I'm trying to think what's in it. I don't even know what these ingredients are, but dude. Hmm. I already know what's going to happen when I get near her with this on. I already know. Already know. Put it on the ink. Put it on the ink. I didn't go to the gym yet today so the guns are not pumped. It is a sunny day out. It is a sunny day outside and you know what they say. I don't have the guns yet. I want to be able to say sun's out, guns out, but I'm not like the rest of you guys. I'm an old guy with kind of like guns. Right now they're just BB guns. That's not bad, right? Too bad for a That's not too bad for an old guy, right? <laughs> BB guns. By the end of summer, I'm going to have ARs right here. <laughs> oh my god, the smell of this is sick. Holy cow. This, uh, right away, because you know I've had over like 350 different oils and bombs. 350. Actually, I lost track at 350. I will say this, it's in my top 10 fragrances, and what I like about it is they use essential oils. This is not like some fragrance from China, all right? This is essential oils in a nice, high-quality carrier oil. Mm. Like I said, I already know what's going to happen when she smells this. And I better be ready. All right, you bastards, you did a great job again. A fantastic product. And uh, you just keep outdoing yourself over and over again. I'll put a link down below where you can get this. This is my opinion. Hold on. One second. Shit, I can't even read this. Even with my glasses on, I gotta get stronger glasses. But this is by Bearded Bastard. It's all of the good oils. I see stuff like sweet almond oil, argan oil, jojoba oil. Um, and I just can't read the rest. It's not because it's too small, it's because my damn eyes are so old. Four X's. This goes down as, seriously, in the top 10 of beard oil. It's got that exotic thing, you know what I'm talking about? It's just not like, it's not like the, uh, it's not like the essential oils that you see like in uh, Whole Foods or 
you know, like all the typical kind of, there's like something like exotic about this. It's almost like royalty. I really like it. It's, um, it, I would call it beard oil with a purpose. And that purpose, obviously, see, I'm already softer already. It's not even, it's not even prickly. She is not going to be kissing a porcupine, I'll tell you that. I mean, what, what woman wants a porcupine on her face or body? Let's get real. All right, check it out. Put the link down below. Great job, guys. Thanks. It's not even prickly. She is not going to be kissing a porcupine, I'll tell you that.